What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be giving you an update on the frogs I've recently paired together and I'm going to be showing you what's happened over the past couple of days because I was not expecting it to happen and it's pretty exciting. So let's get on with the video. Oh, okay, it's fine now. Okay, so if you guys saw my previous video on these two frogs, you'll know that I paired them together. The female that's right here was living in this enclosure and the male has always been in there. And at the end of that video, I showed them getting along pretty well. They were feeding together, following each other around, and I thought that could be possible courtship behavior. So at that point, I was really excited because I had a feeling that they were gonna breed pretty soon. Only a couple of hours after I introduced them both, they were both getting along pretty well. And courtship behavior between male and female dart frogs is basically the male calling to the female and he makes this buzzing sound I'll put in a clip here and the female following the male around and stroking him on his back. This is usually an indication to the male that she wants to breed and when the male calls as well he's kind of enticing her even more. Oh she's got a leaf stuck to her back. So they were showing all of these signs of breeding and then the next evening I checked their little coconut hut behind there and I put down a little petri dish just in case they did decide to breed and it's quite dark back in that corner so I have to use a torch to kind of see if anything's in there and I literally just checked that corner just in case there were any eggs and I found five eggs from the female. I was not expecting this at all, especially not within a day of putting them in together. But I looked up online that you could either take them out as soon as you see them and it might encourage them to lay another clutch of eggs or you could leave them in there until they're tadpoles and then you could take them out. I chose to take them out straight away and care for them myself because I feel like that would be the best way to ensure that most of them have a better chance of survival. So yeah, if you can see back there, there's a coconut hut with a petri dish under it. That's a new one I put under there if they want to lay eggs again. And I also put another one right here. So yeah, I took them out and now I'm caring for them myself. And I'll show you guys what I'm keeping them in at the moment. So this is what I'm keeping them in at the moment. As you can see, it's just a normal plastic tub. And if I lift this lid off, those are the eggs. So I'm not sure if you can see, but there are five eggs and one of them I think is infertile, but the rest are fertile, which is really good for the first time that the females laid eggs. This one right here in the middle is the one I think is infertile because it's a lighter color than the rest and it started off quite dark but over time it's gotten a bit lighter than the others so that kind of indicates that they're infertile if they go a lighter color and the darker ones are fertile. So to keep these eggs developing I'm keeping them in this box to retain humidity and also I put down a wet paper towel to also keep that humidity up just so that they don't dry out. And every day I check them and take the lid off so that I can spray some water on the top because if they dry out, they obviously can't develop and they'll die. So from what I've heard, it typically takes 14 to 21 days for them to develop into tadpoles. And I can already kind of see the, the egg on the right is starting to change shape but it's only really been two days so they have quite a long way to go before they turn into tadpoles. And as for the adults it should take them one week to a month to start breeding again and I might get some more eggs. So now that I know they're a pair I'm going to keep them together and see what happens basically. So there's a female on this little I think it's a Pringles lid actually. And they like to lay their eggs on smooth surfaces so that's why they like petri dishes and 
lids and things like that. They also might lay their eggs in bromeliad, so I've been checking in there as well because of the smoother leaves and the fact that they're so close to the water in the middle. So yeah, that's what's going on with these frogs at the moment. I'll give you guys updates on the tadpoles as they develop and I'll be sure to film videos on them as I raise them up because I've never done this before and I want to share the experience with you guys. So that's all for this video. If you enjoyed then don't forget to leave a like and comment below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also don't forget to click the notification bell down below so you know when I upload a video. Do it right now. Do it. I'll see you guys in the next video.